Today we have the official updated roadmap provided by Landfall Games themselves. I'll let you know what those updates are, when to expect them, and if I was right for my prediction. But first, if you like these videos, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing to stay informed on all the tabs news. If you subscribe and leave a comment, you'll be entered into a giveaway for a $60 game of your choosing when I reach 1,000 subscribers and we are on our way. Now, the updates first. Let's address that we all realize it's officially fall. So no, the Switch port didn't make it by the end of summer. But you know what, that's okay. We kind of expected that. With all the issues that they ran into, it was pretty difficult for them to make that deadline. But here we go. It says, now that the game is out of early access, the updates will be fewer and further between. Womp, womp, womp. Which we were aware of. All years listed on this page are estimates and can change at any time like they are today. So first, there's the unannounced update in 2022 that is paired with the Nintendo Switch port, which is in the approval stages, I believe. Now this is kind of new um, information. I kind of called that a, an update was going to be coming out with the Switch at the same time. I just got the wrong one. I thought it was gonna be the Neon Weapons update, but apparently that is later on. This is the unannounced update, so we don't know what's happening, but something of some kind is going to be released with the Switch port, so that's pretty exciting, honestly. The PS4 port is now scheduled for late 2022 or early 2023, and this makes sense again. The Switch port took longer than Landfall Games was expecting, and so similarly, I think they're predicting that once the Switch is approved and done, the PlayStation port might have similar obstacles, and so they're giving themselves that buffer of end of year, maybe beginning of the next year. And last on their list, as I have mentioned in my previous tabs videos, the Neon Weapons and Materials update in the unit creator is scheduled for 2023. So after this roadmap timeline, Landfall gives some further context to their situation overall, and here's what they say. In order to have full transparency of how this roadmap has changed from the previous one, we will provide explanations for those changes below. Here we go. Unit creator features that have been requested. We previously looked into adding the following to the unit creator. More unit bases, resizing weapons, and individual stats on weapons. These were not officially on the roadmap, but were spoken about as a possibility in this post, which is a Reddit post from 2020. And the fact that they're going back to posts from 2020 to let their fans know what is happening, I, I really respect that. They're making sure that they're checking all the boxes of what they've said in the past and what they're doing in the future and etc. So there are no current plans to add these following features, but if that changes, they will update the roadmap. Here we go, hero unit. The hero unit feature was initially put on hold, but after trying to figure out a way to get around the issues, we have now decided not to include it in the game. We believe that including the hero unit feature would lead to more issues and bugs that could ruin the other systems in the game. Additionally, the game project is currently very hard to work in, leading to it being almost impossible to add new features to the game, unless they've been worked on for a long time, such as the two updates listed above unannounced in Neon. The hero unit feature was initially meant to be a more extensive version of the current unit possession feature, where you would be able to control a unit of your own creation on the field. It's something we would have liked to include, but as it looks right now, it will not be possible. So all these additional features sound really cool, but apparently Tabs is just broken behind the scenes. Next, we got some uh, some bonus updates for you. I'm always uh, hounding their Twitter, keeping an eye on things, and we've got a few cool little announcements here to, to bring to you. Adam had a quick question. He understands that the team is very hard at work, but he was asking about moving the game to Stadia. Landfall says, hey, we have no current plans for Stadia ports. And if you saw recently, IGN reported that Google's looking into removing Stadia services so no luck there um moving on why the nintendo switch in mobile first landfall says mobile is being developed by another studio and isn't taking any time away from playstation as for the switch it was chosen first as the porting team needs to concentrate on one port at a time so there they are again reiterating 
that mobile is separate. It's its own thing. They don't have a release date for it yet. They are in development. You can go follow them at their own Twitter and such at mobile tabs. PlayStation is waiting on the Switch. From what I know, the Switch port is in the approval stages. Landfall made a lot of modifications to make the Switch port possible. And so they're gonna have to do all that at once and then move over to PlayStation. Denver, asking about the Steam Deck. Now this is a great question, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately the game's anti-cheat isn't Linux compatible, so it won't work on the deck. There you have it. On Landfall Games Switch, announcement page they left this new note for us they said initially we announced that we would release tabs for the switch sometime in the summer of 2022 but as the leaves are turning yellow it is looking more like it will be sometime during autumn this year there have been many challenges porting tabs to console and we thank you for your patience as we're working to get it out on nintendo switch as soon as possible i know it's just demoralizing the wait for this game. I see some of you all posting on Twitter like you're checking every day. It will happen, and very soon. Just give them a month or two. I think we'll have this game on Switch. Anyway, that's all of the tabs announcements that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you could, hit the like button, consider subscribing, get more of these updates in the future, and leave a comment to be entered into the giveaway for a $60 game of your choosing. Let me know what you all think about these updates in the comments. It's been really fun talking to everyone. So until next time, peace. Uh-huh.